everyone, it's me, Fiona Jane, aka Dr. Hikaru, and I'm actually doing this video off my phone. I wanted to continue my vlogs on endometriosis because it's been kind of a hectic week and I've got a lot of things going on. Um, I came down with influenza B, as you know, and it was so bad that I was actually put on bed rest for a week. Uh, as a result, I've had things like eczema kick up around my eye. And I'm still a little congested from it, but I'm not contagious and I'm not kind of dying. Uh, my doctor took a lot of pity on me. I'm sorry if this video is not really steady because I'm just kind of holding it up with my hand. Um, it's March, so it is Endometriosis Awareness Month. I encourage all of you guys to wear something yellow. I have my trusty little um, bracelet I talked about before. And if you guys have been following me on my Instagram and, and my Facebook, I've been writing about some of the challenges that I've been super exhausted from being sick. Um, you also see I'm in a hotel room. I am traveling for my job right now and um, changes going on in my home and and uh, just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot going on at once. Work is proving to be a super challenging part of my life right now and uh, also an immense source of stress and frustration and it, it's just me having to get through things and get through some of these deadlines in the next couple weeks. Um, I mentioned before that I am nearing the end of my birth control pack. I don't know where I put it at the moment but next week I'm supposed to have my first period in about four weeks. I'm not looking forward to it. I can already feel some of the hormonal changes. Let's remember I was also on a round of antibiotics from being on the flu because they put me on Tamiflu, which was supposed to help with any flu symptoms, which didn't do anything for me. And then they also put me on antibiotics in case there was something bacterial because I was just so sick. So as we know, antibiotics interfere with birth control. And I was already getting the moodiness and the draininess and I was lucky that they didn't interfere so much that I was spotting really badly. Um, I, I told you guys I was going through a spotting section and, and the cramps were coming back with a vengeance. The cramps are coming back even worse this week after I've kind of recovered, but I know part of that is I am just so unbelievably run down. Um, the stress of a lot of things happening in my life at once and, and overcoming the flu is really proving to be a lot. So I've, I've asked for people's warm thoughts, their prayers, um, and spoons. Because if you know I'm a spoonie, because I have endometriosis, um, I wanted to talk a little more about Endometriosis Awareness Month. This is our month, um, my endo sisters, and for those of you who want to support our cause, please wear yellow, please share anything on Facebook, please do a little research. and and see that for, for those one of ten of us women who suffer with this, there's a lot we go through, there's a lot of emotional pain that we suffer, there's, there's, there's the physical pain, there's the idea that you feel like you're crazy, there's a hormonal imbalance, there's just so much that I watch my videos, I talk about different symptoms I've experienced, I talk about my frustrations, and, and the saddest part about it is I am not the only one who goes through this. You know, I have gotten um, some phenomenal comments and um, heartbreaking stories about other other endo sisters who also suffer with this and and their videos just they feel like I'm telling their story and and I feel like my story is is crazy and and some of those are even crazier than mine I would have never thought that you um, based on the adhesions and the scarring that some of my endo sisters actually have inverted uteruses which is extremely painful and the scarring is so bad. I'm meeting more and more women who are telling me that they've had hysterectomies. Um, and it, I, I just don't have any words anymore. So if you want to do us all a favor, please educate yourselves. Um, educate yourselves and support, support those of us who are going to have those rough days because maybe lately I'm getting a better ratio of, aside from being sick of having better days, but the truth is, as I reach this um, period cycle, the first time I've had since basically uh, November, I'm scared. I, I, I can really feel the abdominal pains coming. I can really feel my body chemistry. Um, I'm already worn out, like I said, from coming out of the flu. So, I mean, I, I physically look run down. 
and it's it's just gonna be this way for a while because of you know my career my my life that I am trying to just get by right now so um, that's about what's been going on with me um, I think I'm gonna try to do a couple more off my phone uh, to to give you a little more about all my life. I, I'm doing a lot of traveling. Um, it, it it's hard for me to stay on my normal diet because of this traveling, um, and also the amount of stress I'm under. But I have managed to still drop some weight over the last few weeks, and and you know, uh, the flu will do that to you. But I think just the sheer amount of stress I'm under you know this breaking out of the skin this, this crazy eczema coming back um, and and trying to keep a handle so I don't feel schizophrenic or or kind of feel like I lose it that I'm slipping I've used that term before slipping and where you don't really feel like yourself so I wanted to shout out to all my inner sisters I wanted to say thank you so much for everyone who joined my Facebook event it is, did say it's March 1st, but it is an entire month, guys. It is this entire month that I support uh, those endometriosis awareness month. I, and there's, it's, there's a couple invisible illness. Um, there's just a lot going on this month, and I encourage you guys to get involved in any little activity you can do, even if it's wearing something yellow, a ribbon, um, a pin, a bracelet, a necklace, just something there. Um, I really run down. It's it's about nine nine thirty where I'm clocking this in. I've I started my flying at uh, six six fifteen this morning, so I had a super early morning. Um, I really wanted to say thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the comments. Um, thanks for all the likes, the loves, the sharing. It it means a lot to me. Um, I'm hoping I can talk about the more funner things that I enjoy in life, the non endo blogs. Uh, in but it the next like two weeks the next three weeks this next month is is very pivotal and uh, a lot of life changing things going on for me so please 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 um, send me your warm thoughts because I I can use all the positive energy I can get I also wanted to reiterate about for those of us who suffer with endometriosis some days it's easier to be uh, positive than others but. I only wish some of you guys could truly understand the inner workings and the inner anguish and turmoil and and pain and, and suffering we go through that we choose not to share. And I'm trying to be more open about my story, about posting pictures of just me and the most not flattering things, um, the most rundown images of me, the most heart shattering inner inner workings that I, I really wouldn't share but I, I want to spread the awareness that it is devastating um, and it uh, uh, whoa. I'm getting an emotional here um, it is not something easy to deal with and um, whew. Uh, talking about it some days like I said it's easier than others Today is a day where I just knew I had to share a little more on like my fear of uh, having my period. Do you know what that's like to to fear something that's a natural cycle because of all the things that could happen? And I'm lucky I have my my annual where I get to talk to my doctor about some of the other concerns I have, but. It, it, it's easy to try to be positive and not show you like this part but it's endometriosis awareness month and I'll take that step forward to show you that uh, something scares a little more than it would scare other people something can we really fear it's gonna be a, a, a traumatic part and I haven't even hit that week. I got that's next week for me. But I, I think about what I know on how my body is affected, how my emotions are affected, and and I think of all these other challenges coming my way through changes in my life and um, some career changes and and some life changes I'm going through, and it it, it becomes 
overwhelming. I I mean, you would think, as as uh, someone like me who's in consulting in a very high stress, high pa fast paced, this type of stress I'm okay with. It's just having everything else and having something like endo and dealing with other emotional things in, in family, like death in the family, um, and and. And, and understanding how my life is impacted and thinking about things that I, I normally wouldn't have thought about before but having endo is forcing me to think about these things it's it's forcing me to do things like really put my faith in in other people which which as a, as a type a person it, it's not easy for me it's it's kind of scary but I, I know I have this I won't call it a handicap because Endo's, Endo's taught me a lot. It's, it's taught me I can't be strong. And um, I'm going to get through these next a few weeks. It's uh, it's just going to be a bit more of a challenge than I'd like. But uh, whew. The, these are things that I really wish no one else had to, to understand or be scared of or go through, but I'm sharing this with you guys, so maybe you can find a little more sympathy towards somebody you know who has endo, or maybe you could try to just understand a little of how our lives are. A little more challenging, a little more complicated, and harder to explain and uh, these are the things we don't want to share with you because we don't want to be perceived as weak or the, the, the weaker sex as being a woman because this centers around a gynecological problem and, and I'm in a male dominated career field so um even trying to talk to my new managers about this, and it, it, it goes back to what I said before, it's not that they don't want to understand, it's just, yeah, how the fuck do you process something like this? You know, when, when most days, I'd like to say I'm having more better days than, than bad days, and a lot of that has to do with outlook, and a lot of that has to do with the, the support I've gotten from places I would have never looked for, for support, and, um, that the strength and the passion and the good vibes I get from people when like days like this I just I almost want to give up when you think of everything that has to happen and everything I have to go through in the next uh, few weeks and on top of it I'm, I'm scared of my period I'm scared of my own body I'm scared of the changes in the pain and and my own hormone levels and it's, I uh I'm gonna be okay though. I'm 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 gonna get through it, but this is the the side you guys don't I don't wanna share with anyone. But I think if you guys saw a little of it and heard it from somebody, um you can understand why we need to share the awareness. And, and promote this as, as something we need to find a cure for, something we need to understand more, something where, like I've said before, I've had doctors not believe me, and I, I need to have trust in somebody that this is going to get better, that um, through life changes and medical advances and my life decisions that I'm going to have a better life um, where maybe I can't control the chronic pain, but I can... I can look at a better outlook at dealing with it and I can use uh, my words and my story to help somebody who's terrified and and scared because they're just learning that they have this so uh, I know I'm, I'm rambling I wasn't expecting to get all super emotional I just kind of wanted to give an update but this is a day in my life. I have endometriosis. Um, I'm a woman, and I have days where I'm totally terrified too. But 
Um, hang in there, my endo sisters. It's our month. It's our time to shine. It's our time to to show the world that we are strong and, and we need everyone's help. Even the littlest thing about spreading the word or supporting another friend or supporting a complete stranger on the internet or educating yourself about it. All these things help us um, in their ways. So I encourage my endo sisters to to be more vocal about these issues, these things, these concerns you have. And I encourage everyone else to to just educate yourself about it, you know. But uh, this is me signing out. Yeah, look at all this on this mess. And uh, thanks again so much for your support, guys. Thanks so much for listening. Um, thanks for watching these videos. It, uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, all right, so uh, hopefully my next videos will be a little happier. But I think you're going to see a little more videos more like this over the next couple weeks. But um, the goal is to show you what it's like, right? and uh, to document my trials and my learnings and my experience and, and how I'm trying to cope with it. So, uh, thanks again, guys. We're in this together. Have a good one. Bye.